But what if you don't know where Tripoli is located? Many people don't. Nevertheless, you can find it. Or Copenhagen, or any other place for that matter. Because a series of lines that runs east and west, and another that runs north and south, a grid, is printed on globes to help us find particular places and measure distances. We'll explain how in a few minutes, but first, a definition. The lines that run east and west are called parallels of latitude. In the real world, these imaginary lines are always the same distance from one another, about 70 miles, or roughly 113 kilometers. If you look down from the North Pole, you can see that parallels of latitude form circles, which are measured with a unit called the degree. Degrees are symbolized by a small circle. The distance between each latitude is subdivided into units called the minute. There are 60 minute lines between each line of latitude. Minute lines are symbolized by an apostrophe. The basic reference latitude, the equator, lies halfway between the north and south poles at precisely zero degrees, zero minutes. The equator divides the globe into its northern and southern hemispheres. Our word hemisphere comes from a Greek word meaning half a sphere or half a globe. For every degree of latitude in the northern hemisphere, there's a corresponding degree in the southern hemisphere. To distinguish between them, we say a place is located at so many degrees north or so many degrees south. For example, we could say that the northern edge of Cuba lies at 23 degrees 30 minutes northern latitude, and that Sao Paulo, Brazil lies at 23 degrees 30 minutes, or 23 and one-half degrees, southern latitude. By the way, 23 and one-half degrees southern latitude is called the Tropic of Capricorn, and its corresponding latitude in the northern hemisphere is known as the Tropic of Cancer. The area between these two latitudes, often called the tropics, has a tropical climate, warm and often humid all year long. Two other lines of latitude, the Antarctic Circle, at about 66 and one-half degrees southern latitude, and the Arctic Circle, at 66 and one-half degrees northern latitude also help identify climate. The areas within these circles are generally cold throughout the year. The areas between the tropics and the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle, those in the so-called middle latitudes, generally have more seasonal weather with a summer, fall, winter, and spring each year.